Hi, this is Lee Smith for GritGrindGrizz.com. Well, in the Grizzlies' home opener tonight at FedEx Forum, we saw the return of Grit and Grind. It was a very thrilling overtime victory over the Detroit Pistons, 111 to 108. And it was a game in which we saw some things we've seen from the Grizzlies before. In fact, things that made us fall in love with the team over the past few years. They get ahead a little bit, give up a lead, uh, go down a little bit, and then fight their way back to win the game. It was a very spirited win over the Detroit Pistons. After the game, we asked Coach Jager about it. And we also talked to some of the players to see if this really marks a turning point for the team. And as a bonus, Future was a featured artist for the opening of the game. He happens to be Tony Allen's favorite artist. We asked Tony a special question or two about that. Thank you, uh, Check it out. It's all about the grit and grind. It's something you guys, it's been your mantra, and that was what it was like tonight. I mean, you had to take it all the way down. Yeah, any team playing against us knows that we're going to fight to the end, no matter what the score is. And um, we, guys really came out there to take hits and big shots, but it, it all starts on the defensive end. We're getting stops and rebounding. We're doing all the little things to, to get the win. You got 20, yeah, you guys had 20 turnovers. They got 15 offensive rebounds, but in the end, you know, you guys made the plays when you had to down seven with a couple minutes to go. It's, it's not the finals. It's not June basketball right now. It's, it's pretty ugly, but at the same time, we gotta, uh, we gotta get better. We gotta clean up some things and we gotta take care of, take care of the ball. I know I had two turnovers and um, we gotta get better. A lot of people going in like, and we, and hopefully he averaged about 15 or 20. How did it feel, you know, playing that much, coming up with some big shots? It felt great. You know, I think uh, obviously um, it's been a while, um, but for me, it's it, I felt my body felt good. I got used to shooting tired if I'm gonna play that many. Um, but you know, uh, I'm just happy we got the win. It's a it's a big one for us at home after the first loss against San Antonio. So we're one and one. Now we can put that behind us. I guess the folks yeah. earlier this year in the preseason game, uh, when you hit that game winner, you said that was gonna be a precursor to the rest of the season. I said um, you really kind of took over towards the fourth quarter and led that drive. Um, to go to overtime. How did that feel? And uh, can you talk about your thoughts during that process? Well, uh, I think just in the whole second half in general, I wanted to be aggressive. Uh, after sitting most of the first half of foul trouble, uh, you know, I just wanted to come out with the mindset to be aggressive, go out there and try to make plays, uh, score when I need to. And I finally got into a good rhythm, stayed on the court for a little bit, and I uh, was able to, to play that. Yeah, I just told him before we, uh, before we, uh, before we uh, I know, it's your boy. Yeah, it was, I mean, kind, of, it was kind of shocking, man, you know, seeing him, but just coming out, I just told him I'm, I'm, uh, I like his movement, I like his music, you know, and uh, keep it going, that's all. But he, he kind of had me, he kind of had me amped up today. What is your favorite future song? That song right there, the one they Play all the time oh, in the ground. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a, that's a, exactly. That's definitely the answer, especially for the Green Grand movement. You already know.